Okay, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh And hi everyone So, let's continue our discussion on Technique and Theorem in Finding Inverse Laplace Transform So, in this video, we will uh, discuss uh, One theorem that we can use Which is Transform of Integral So, in this theorem So, we have if we have uh, Laplace transform for uh, function ft is equal to fs. So then, so our inverse Laplace transform for fs divided by s is equal to integration of f tau d tau. So what it means is that, so if we divide our function, okay, in with with s in s domain, and then we divide it with with s. So, in time domain, so we will integrate the function. Okay, so it's very simple. So, if you have any function, for example, over here we have fs, okay, and then we divide it with s, which is in s domain. So, what happened in time domain is that we will do integration of the function. Okay, so that, that is what it means by this one. Or what we can say is that if we do integration in time domain, so we will have a division uh, with S in S domain. So let's do a few examples on how we can use theorem of transform of integral. Okay, so that we can do inverse Laplace transform any function in S domain into a time domain. So, let's take a look the first question. So, A equal to uh, A. Question A is, we need to find inverse Laplace transform for 2 over S squared plus S. Okay. So, if you... Okay, so for this question, you have the denominator is s squared plus s. So that means we can uh, factorize it. So this will be equal to inverse Laplace transform. Okay, 2 over s, s plus 1. Okay, so where is our fs for this case? So our fs will be this one. This is our fs. And then we divide our fs with s, so meaning that in uh, time domain, we need to integrate the function. Okay, we have fs, which is this one. In time domain, we have ft. We need to integrate that ft. So we need to find that first. So based on our fs, our fs va value. So over here, we have fs equal to 2 over s plus 1. So we need to find uh, ft so that we can do we can do the integration proce integration process so inverse Laplace transform for fs okay this one will be equal to inverse Laplace transform okay the function on the left uh, on the right so this will give us ft okay so this one to inverse this one so we need to use our table of Laplace transform, okay. which is this one. So we have 2s plus 1. So we look the denominator. So s plus 1, it should be this one. We have s minus minus e. So we can use that. Okay. So this one, because we have s minus e, so, our A value will be equal to negative 1. So, when we have A negative 1, so S minus minus 1 will be equal to S plus 1. Okay, but we need to have like 1 we over here. Okay, in terms of the numerator, uh, we need to do that. So, we have we need to make it or modify a bit this, this uh, function so that it will be uh, similar pattern with our uh, function over here in table of Laplace transform 1 over s minus a 
if the same and then we can have our inverse Laplace transform which is E A T so for this case we have A equal to uh, negative 1 ok A is equal to negative 1 so we, we need to have uh, 1 on as the numerator so we can bring our uh, uh, these two uh, outside of the inverse Laplace transform operator so we have 2 inverse Laplace transform and then 1 over s plus 1 ok where now a equal to negative 1 so now we have similar pattern with our uh, 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 with this function in, in the table of Laplace transform so now we, ha we can have our uh, inverse Laplace transform for 1 over s minus a where our a value is equal to to negative 1 so we have over here 2 e negative 1 t so this is our ft so the next one is that we need to find what is f tau so that we can do the integration so very simple to find our f tau so we can just need to replace our t with tau and then any t in the equation we replace also with with tau so we have f tau is equal to 2e negative tau so we need to replace any t with tau so we have f tau and then inverse of plus transform for this one will be equal to with integration of f tau d tau ok so let's do the integration process ok so this one will be equal to we have this one will be equal to integration of uh, f tau d tau so we have inverse of plus transform for fs divided by s this one will be equal to integration of t f tau f tau d tau so as we know that our f tau value is 2e negative tau so meaning that this one will be 0 t ok 2 e negative tau and then d tau so we, we will do the integration over d tau so for this one so we will have ok so we will have negative ok uh, we have we can bring 2 outside of the the integration so we have 2 multiply with uh, integrate with multiply with integration of e negative tau d tau so this will give us 2 ok e negative tau and then we minus minus it ok and then this one we need to uh, insert the value from 0 to t Okay, so when we insert it, so we have 2 negative e negative t, okay, and then uh, minus with 2 negative e negative tau is equal to 0. So we can simplify this equation. So we have negative 2 e negative t and then we have this one will be equal to 1 e power of 0 e power of 0 will be equal to 1 ok exponential 0 this will be equal to 1 so negative 1 multiplied with negative 2 will be equal to positive 2 ok and then we have over here 2 minus 2e negative t and then we can factorize it so we have 2 1 over 1 minus 1 minus e negative t I just rewrite it again so we have 2 1 of 1 minus e negative t so this is inverse Laplace transform for our our question ok so the next one ok so we do the second question
Okay, so we will do the second question. Okay. Okay, which is a question B, and then we need to find inverse Laplace transform for one over s s squared plus four. Okay, so let do this. Okay, this is our theorem. Okay, transform of integration integral. So now we must find fs divided by s. So we need to find our fs. Okay. So in this case, our fs will be equal to uh, our fs will be equal to one over s squared plus plus four. Right. So this is our fs. So if we have our fs value which is fs divided by s so we can use theorem of transform of integral so fs and then uh, the inverse transform for fs divided by s is equal to integration of f tau d tau so we have here fs and then divided by s so we can use uh, theorem of integral so this will give us uh, integration from 0 of t and then f tau d tau right so let's find our fs so that we can uh, get our f tau so the next one is that uh, we need to find uh, f tau value okay so that we can later integrate integrate it over 0 to 0 and to t so f tau can be find uh, can be found using fs which is 1 over s squared plus plus 4 so uh, when we do inverse laplace transform for fs one over s squared plus 4 okay this will give us our f uh, function ft and then for this one, we need to refer to table of Laplace transform, which is this one. So we have the, de the denominator s squared plus 4. So that means we, we, it could be this one. And then we have constant value of numerator. So it must be this one and this one. So you have plus 4, meaning that we will use this Laplace, uh, uh, Laplace transform. So we must make sure that our uh, function must be similar with this one so that we can have inverse Laplace transform which is equal to sine A T. So if we do over here, so we have inverse Laplace transform 1 over S squared plus 2 squared. Right? So A, our A value for this case is equal to uh, our a value is equal to uh, 2 so we have 2 and 2 so the numerator must be equal to 2 so we need to modify the equi this equation or this function so we will have negative 1 divided with 2 negative uh, inverse Laplace transform so we have 2 divided by 2 and then s squared plus 2 squared okay so we can bring uh, 1 over 2 outside of the laplace inverse laplace transform operator so we have half negative 1 and then 2 divided by s squared plus 2 squared okay this one so we have 2 and 2 which is similar pattern with our uh, laplace transform uh, for this function okay, in table of Laplace transform so this one is a equal to 2 so we have sine a t meaning that inverse of Laplace transform for this one will be sine uh, 2 t so we have half okay okay sine 2 2 t so we have f t and then we need to find what uh, our f tau so it's very simple Okay, we have f tau. So any t in the equation, in this 
a function or in this equation we need to replace with tau so we have ft this one equal to half sin 2t so we have for f tau we need to replace t hit this one with tau so we will have half sin 2 2 tau right so to find inverse of transform for the equation okay so we can do the integration so we have negative uh, inverse of transform 1 over s s squared plus 4 Okay, this will be equal to integration from 0 to t and then f tau d d tau. We have our f tau which is half sine 2t. So, we will include into the integration. So, we have half sine 2 tau and then d d tau. Alright. So when we do the, the integration of this one, this will be equal to this will be equal to uh, or before that we can we need to bring half in outside of the integration. So you have zero t k sine two tau d tau. So we have half and then do the integration for sine two tau. This will give us okay, negative cos 2t divided by 2. And then, of course, we have limit from 0 to t. Okay, this one cos tau. Okay, and then we will include into the equation. So, you have half okay, negative cos 2t divided by 2. And then, minus... We have over here minus cos 2, 0 and then divided by, by 2. Okay, right? Okay, so this will give us half negative cos 2t. And then negative, this one negative cos 2, 0. Okay, cos 2, 0, cos 0, meaning that cos 0 is equal to 1. So, you have negative half over here. And then we can simplify a bit the equation. The equation. So, you have, I think this one I miss over 2. So, you have negative cos 2t over 2 plus half. Okay, we can uh, factorize 2. So, we have 1 over 4. Okay, 1 minus cos 2 t. Okay, so this is our inverse Laplace transform for 1 over s multiplied with s squared plus plus 4. Alright, so hopefully you understand on how to use theorem uh, of uh, transform of integral to find uh, inverse Laplace transform for any function uh, in S domain into time domain. But you need to make sure that your you need to determine what is uh, your Fs which is divided by by S value. Alright, so hopefully you understand uh, and then thank you for watching and bye.